what's going on youtube it's arrow aka time to go and in this video i'm gonna be showing you guys because i'm pretty sure you just like me how to set up a blue yeti microphone on windows and on obs to remove background sounds like this and like this because as a content creator like me it messes up our whole videos and leaves us like this so let's get into it all right so as you can see the blue yeti microphone it has four recording patterns if you're like me we're gonna really be focused on the third one which is cardio but i'm gonna go through all four of them really quickly so the first one which is one all the way to the left that is stereo and that records the left and the right side and then the second one is omnidirectional this one you can't really see but that one and that records all around the whole mic and the third one, which is the one we're on right now, is cardioid. That records everything directly in front of the mic. If you're a YouTuber, live streamer, whatever the case may be, this is best for you. This is what I use. This is what everybody else is using. The last one is uh, bi-direction. That records front and back. So, obviously, if you're just like me, let's put it on cardioid. And let's get into it. Uh, I got... I want to show you guys how important gain is because gain is sensitivity of your mic. And that is above that, as you saw right there, that's gain. And then I also want to show you guys the sound settings to use on Windows. And then also filters you can use on OBS to help uh, remove background noise. So the thing with gain is, you know, when I first got my mic a few months ago, um, I was always I was struggling and annoyed trying to figure out how to best set up my audio and gain is one of the most important things with the uh, Blue Yeti. So gain itself is the um, gain is the sensitivity of your mic. And most people would say uh, set your gain as low as possible, almost to zero. And uh, it really just differs on you in your settings and whatnot and like your environment, stuff like that. Me personally, my background environment usually isn't quiet. So I have to do all of this to make up for it. So mine, so this is the lowest right here. You can probably only hear me a little bit, but as you turn it up, you can hear me even more easier without me actually increasing like my voice. But with gain, you don't want to put it up too high, especially if like in this video, you're trying to reduce the, um, the background noise. So you want to put it almost close to zero that's zero so go like right here or you can even go a little bit more it just depends on you play around with the settings but i like to go like right here that's about three o'clock well not three i'm sorry if you're looking at it it's about nine o'clock i'm sorry i'm looking at this <laughs> but um yeah put it some above uh above zero like around 25 whatever that should be fine so now i'm going to show you guys the sound settings on windows 10 to um pair with the game Okay, so for sound settings to uh, go along with gain, it's pretty easy to do it on Windows. I don't know exactly how to do it on Mac, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty similar. So you want to right click on this and then go to sounds and then go to recording. You see my Yeti is already my default device. So I click on that and then I go to, I think it's configure. No, it's not configure. I'm sorry. It's properties. All right, so properties, and then you go to levels. Now, with this whole setup, the lower you have your gain, generally the higher you want your microphone level. So if I had my gain real high, I would have my microphone level low. You kind of, it's, it's a balance. So mine's, like I said, it's probably this being like around 25 or whatever. Because if this is zero, this is, this is pretty low. So if mine's this low, you want your gain to be around 80 85 i'll experiment and mess around with it record record yourself like do test recording short recordings keep your tone and your pitch the same to see you know the difference and whatnot and how it sounds how you want it to sound and stuff like that so generally with the lower gain you want a higher microphone level so after that click apply mine's already set up so that's done and then hit okay and that's it for the window setting now you won't get into the OBS settings, especially for somebody like me and you guys. This is why you're here as a content creator on YouTube, whether you live stream, whatever the case may be. So let's get into that. Okay, now, settings and OBS. OBS uh, 
has filters that really help with reducing background noise. So yeah, OBS open. I don't want to maximize the screen because it looks like this and that's kind of trippy. So we're going to leave it like this. I'm pretty sure it's big enough. That should be big enough for you guys to see. Whatever. Okay, cool. So this is my mic. Uh, slash aux. This is the Blue Yeti. As you can see, this is the device setup for it. Cool. All right. So when you got your device set up on OBS, click on the settings wheel in the audio mixer. Then go to filters. I already got three set up. But here they are. Um, so first you got noise gate, noise suppression, and noise compression. So I'm going to show you how to do it. So you have to add, add them all. You see compressor right here. You got noise gate and noise suppression at the bottom. So add all three of those. And then um, I'm going to add them. It's going to have different values, but you can also play with these as well. But these are my values. So for noise gate, I have to close on negative 48 and open on negative 38. And I think all the times I left on default noise suppression, I have it's only two qualities. Uh, I used to use the lower CPU usage one, but I've been using this one lately. Uh, R and noise. And it's been working fine for me, but experiment either or whatever. And then compressor um, ratio 10 threshold 20, negative 27 30 attack 6 release 60 output gain 10 so after you add these three this adjust those values and like i said um this experiment my values might not be the best for yours but it's probably gonna be somewhere around here but that's pretty much it guys um that is how you set up your blue yeti microphone on windows 10 and obs to remove background noise in your videos because we all know as a as content creators when background noise mess up our videos is very annoying hope you guys enjoyed the video be sure to like comment subscribe if this video was helpful i hope it really was it's been arrow time to go i'm gonna catch you guys in the next video